You're not going fishing? I'm going fishing. Good afternoon, everybody. It is September 22nd? 22nd or something. I'm gonna head out with my friend Monty on a new lake today and incorporate the Lucky Tackle Box. Now, as you guys can see, post office kind of ripped it up. I had a hard time getting out of my out of my post office box, but we're gonna head out there to a brand new lake I've never fished before in College Station. Reaching out to you guys was a good idea because you gave me a whole lot of new locations to film and have fun fishing at. So we'll see you guys out on the water. <laughs> Oh yeah, there we go, baby. First fish of the kayak slam is in the boat. Sweet. This year I knocked out two baits with one fish. I had the Biwasinko on there with the Mustad wide gap hook. Good way to start off the slam. Cool. So today I will be hoping to complete the Lucky Tackle Box Challenge. Now, it's just similar to the end MTB Slam where you have to complete, you have to, you have to catch a lure, you have to catch a fish on every single lure in this box for it to be a complete uh, success, I guess you could call it. So, I'm not going to unbox this thing in full. If you want to see a full unboxing, I'm sure you guys have already seen Flair's unboxing of this month's box. But if you haven't, I'm going to dump them out real quick, show you what's all in the box for Lucky Tackle Box this month. We'll start off with a cool sticker. Then we've got a pretty realistic Yozuri popper. Hopefully you'll be able to catch some fish on that in this dirty water. We've got some uh, Lake Lunkers custom baits, soft plastic frogs for top water. Hopefully again, hook up with some fish on the shallow wooden grass here. What else we got? Biwa, oh my goodness. Biwa soft plastics, this is the Cinco in just a watermelon. Looks like a, what color is this? Okeechobee, five pack of Cinco's, awesome. And we've got some mustad hooks to go along with that. Lots of good bait in this box. A sweet jerk bait. Now I don't throw jerk baits very much, but this one is unique in the fact that you can put these weights in the top of the bait here to make it suspend, sink, or float. Pretty sweet bait. And last but certainly not least, the Lunkers, Lunker Hunt Hatch Spin. This is a, I guess, a, a bait you can use for suspending fish. It's a, it's a jigging spoon, you could call it. And it's a, a really awesome paint job. I don't know if you guys can see that or if it's focusing or not, but it's got a pretty sweet paint job on that. Not sure if I can catch one on this today because I have no electronics, but my buddy has electronics in his kayak. So, oh, last but not least, again, the Zero Gravity Jig. This is a jig I've never heard of before. And that's the cool thing about Lucky Tackle Box is that you will get baits you've never heard of before and they could end up being your favorite bait in the world. So I'm excited to see this jig. It's called Zero Gravity because it looks normal, but it weighs like absolutely nothing. It falls one foot every three seconds. So maybe some of these finicky fish along this submer submerged brush are gonna wanna be chomping on this Zero Gravity jig. So now that we have it all unboxed, let's get back on the water. Somehow it wasn't recording that. And I got my first bass, not too bad, about a two pounder, on the zero gravity jig out of the Lucky Tackle Box. Oh, oh no. Oh, I just missed an absolute giant. I'm, I'm telling you guys, this thing was huge. That thing, oh, how did I pull off? Please tell me he's still sitting around. I just highly doubt it. Oh. oh, I set the hook into that thing. It was like a big soft rock. Oh man. My gosh. That was that was a cluster. That fish like literally took my line away like a bandit running away, and I didn't know what to do. I froze up and then tried to set the hook and almost fell over. All right, maybe he's, maybe he's still there. 
that's the cast to get him if he is, so let's wait and see. What you guys saw there, I don't know if you, you were able to see my line or not, but small fish usually travel in packs, and so when one takes your bait or takes a bait, it could be live or, or artificial, they want to get it away from their buddies who are trying to steal it from them. So that's why you'll see your line just shoot off because it's most likely a small fish trying to uh, protect what it just caught from its buddies. Oh. How does one get a popper under a bush? Oh, well that's, that's definitely not how. You know, I'm sure if I started this challenge in the morning, not uh, four o'clock in the afternoon, I could probably snag one on top water. I just don't know what kind of condition these fish are in and whether they're top water biting up shallow in the afternoon. You guys saw them bite a jig and a cinco up shallow, but I don't know if they'll bite a popper. This corner looks promising though. All right, if there's a bass in there, he will eat this cast. See, there's a fish right there. Yep, I have a feeling this is like a morning top water lake. I found a not happy dog. Nope, I'm sorry guys. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. No you worry. I'm leaving. They don't want me catching their bats. So I usually try to keep baits true to the uh, nature they were created. But I don't think I'm catching anything on just a frog today. So we're going to take zero gravity jig forces you to fish a little slower and I'm gonna thread the frog on here as a trailer oh, actually doesn't look half bad it is beautiful out here it was super windy about half an hour ago and hopefully I'm not jinxing myself here but the winds calmed down a little bit so I'm gonna get out here in this deeper brush this middle of the lake timber and flip this jig around see if I can get a bite how many you caught? How many you caught? I missed a giant. Set the hook, shallow water, and it's just a giant swirl when he when he spit it. Ah! Literally every time I have a fish on, something stupid happens in my kayak. It's the wind blows them all around. Dang it! Now I'm blowing into the shoreline I wanted to fish. Ah. Well, poop. I'm guessing this is a morning and springtime place. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm gonna take off the frog altogether and put on that cool jerk bait with the, uh, the weight system on it. See how that baby fares. All right, if that's not a fish, I don't know what is. Come on. Ah. Yep, probably no bass for that guy's that. All right, last cast. That's a good last cast. Come eat my bait. It's just plopping along the top of the water. You know you want it. You know you want to come eat it right on this point. Right on the point. You are... Oh, come on. Ah. It's like one more. What is up everybody? It is my phone work. It is 11.40. I just got home from my friend's house. We were uh, doing some editing work, just hanging out there. It's time for me to get down to some studying though, but first I kind of want to explain the video uh, and explain the baits that I used from the Lucky Tackle Box that I was able to catch fish on. Now, Texas fishing right now is very tough. It is still 100 degrees outside. Uh, they said it was the first day of fall today, which maybe for you guys up north means something, but down here doesn't mean anything. Um, I was able to snag two fish. My buddy was able to snag one on two different baits from the Lucky Tackle Box. One was the Zero Gravity Jig, and the other is this Biwa Cinco style lure. Now, I like this, this, uh, this soft plastic kind. I'll take it out of the package here. 
I'm not quite sure what uh, it's made of. It's a soft plastic, but it's, it's a little different. It's more like a Strike King kind of soft plastic, like their Ocho Cinco. And I, I love the love the color, love the action it had in the water. Um, so definitely enjoyed this in my box. And then I have mixed feelings about the Zero Gravity Jig. Um, as you guys can see, it looks like it would be three quarter ounce, half ounce, but this thing weighs not even a sixteenth of an ounce and it falls one foot every three seconds. And with a trailer added on that, it falls one foot every, every four seconds. And so I'm still gonna test this thing out, see if I like it, but for right now, I guess I'm more of a power fisherman. I like to have a, you know, a more heavy jig that I can skip into the back of a dock or you know flip very efficiently to, to wood pilings and things. And this jig didn't allow me to do that, but it might be good in very, uh, you know, the, the fish are very finicky. It may be good in those situations because it forces you to slow down and let the jig get to the bottom. Or very, very shallow water, which in, in East Texas we have a little bit of, but in Central Texas we have none of. So uh, I'm going to give the Zero Gravity Jig a little more try. But uh, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you, if you loved it, make sure you subscribe. I think I'm almost to 51,000 subscribers now. And I will be having my 50,000 subscriber giveaway coming up soon. So make sure you guys are subscribed for that because you'll have to be. And uh, I think it's time for me to do some studying. I have the first round of tests coming up next week, which is probably going to be like last week by the time this video gets up. But we will see you guys next time on Tyler's Real Fishing. <laughs>